I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to address how to do perimeter and circumference. Now, they're both ideas that are very, very similar. It's just that circumference applies to only one particular shape, whereas perimeter is a pretty generalized concept. So when it comes to finding perimeter, we're talking about finding the distance around a two-dimensional shape. So I'll just use a rectangle as an illustration. And as you know, with a rectangle, it has two lengths and two widths. Now let's suppose the length was 3 and the width, let's just say, was 2. So to find the perimeter, you simply add all the numbers together. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. And perimeter will be 10, whatever units you want to use. Now, perimeter applies to all sorts of shapes, whether it be hexagons, polygons, triangles, squares, rectangles, etc. The one exception, though, is that of a circle. Now, a circle, you can technically find the perimeter of a circle, but we don't call that. We call finding the perimeter of a circle the circumference. Now, circumference formula for a circle is C equals to 2 pi R. R is the radius of the circle itself. So supposing we have a circle with, this, with a certain center, let's call it 4. Once you know the radius of a circle, you can plug it in. So to find the circumference of this circle, we have C is equal to 2 pi times, let's just say, 4. And then we're going to leave the pi as it is, but 2 times 4 is going to be 8. So you have 8 pi, and we'll just call it whatever generic units that we want. But th that means the circumference of this circle is going to be 8 pi units. Now, you can leave it in pi, or if you want to find an approximation, just either do 8 pi on your calculator, or if you want to do 3.14, that's perfectly fine too. It's going to be some kind of a number greater than 24, but once you've got the formula, finding the circumference is going to be pretty easy. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and there's a couple of illustrations on how to do perimeter and circumference.